I've never met before, which is very exciting for me, because I don't know if you've been in this town before, but that doesn't happen often. Uh, please put your hands together for one of my best friends in the world, Rudy Gonzalez! I'm so excited to be here today, guys. Nevada City, make some noise! so amazing. I love being up in front of a bunch of people just staring at me. Holy moly. So what's all that talk about the coronavirus, guys? I don't understand. Luckily, I got rid of the coronavirus like four years ago. I come from a long line of people with the coronavirus. My papa used to come home and he would park three houses down and then walk in the house. Uh, it was the coronavirus, y'all. What, what do you know about that? Huh? My papa used to come in, he'd always be drunk, you know what I mean? Drinking Corona. That's all it is, guys. Don't believe all the hype. My papa, I'd be in the tub, right? Playing with my pecker when I first learned how you could use shampoo and it felt really good. And then all I do, I see a hand come in the door and the light goes off. Do you believe that shit? My papa would go sit on the toilet, turn off the light, and he'd light up a cigarette. All I see is a cherry. And I'd be like, uh, Papa, I can't breathe. Hold your breath. And I'd be like, no, really, Papa, I can't breathe. And he'd be like, I'm almost done. And then I'd just see him throw it and get up, not wash his hands, not flush the toilet or nothing, and walk out. Damn, that was some messed up shit, huh? So, in the mornings, do you guys remember those old pickup trucks? The Ford, like a 73 Ranger, they were red and white. Red with the stripe and then red on the bottom. I just found out Randy Warner has one after I told that joke in Nevada and over there in Yuba City, I saw Randy take off with one. So it was me and my cousins and my papa. I'm gonna call him Papa because that's what I used to call him. He used to be like, Vamanos, we're going to the park. And we were like dead asleep, it's like six in the morning. <laughs> six in the morning, he'd be telling me and my cousins, Henry, Fernando, Gabriel, and my, my sister Sandy. And he'd go and drop us off. Anybody from LA in the house? Oh, yeah. Nope, not many people, huh? All right. I grew up in Norwalk in the one ways in the barrio. So we would go to the Norwalk Pond, right? What's the what's the local place here then? Where people go swimming when you were younger? The river. The river. Oh, the Yuba River, right? And o Oregon Creek and stuff like that. So just imagine your papa waking you up and dropping you off all day. <laughs> He'd drop us off all day and we'd be going swimming and stuff at the plunge where I learned how to be gymnastics and stuff. And Trevor, Trevor, right? Man, I wish I could walk five miles just to make up for what I ate. <laughs> so the worst one of all was my dad. Do you guys know what a 502 is? My dad had 15 502s. You believe that? He had 15 502s and that he had the coronavirus bad and he still had his license till like four or five years ago my sister took it away she became a CHP officer and she was like she said she became a CHP officer well first let me let me reframe because she wanted to become a detective and she said you know what rude when I become a detective you're gonna be the first one I bust then I'm busting dad <laughs> So she did, she became a CHP officer. So my dad used to ride me around. Remember when you could ride around with no helmet on a motorcycle and like you could be on the front? So my dad would be driving around and stuff and he'd be all drunk and then jump off the bike and forget the kickstand. <laughs> so anyway, that's my time. You guys been great. Have a good one, Nevada City. We'll be back. Everybody. That case is 
just full of Coronas, ignore it.